Hi guys, and happy Monday. So you're looking at what we are going to talk about today. And these are the best follow-up questions to ask a prospect that cancels a call. And I think this is something that everyone goes through, um, gets very frustrated with. Uh, it might be a last minute cancellation, or they don't show, or you call and then you get a message back, hey, sorry, can we do another time? People often forget that questions lead to answers. So what I've done, hey, Melissa, what I've done is I've come up with the three best questions, and obviously I'm going to show you each of them. And also, I have prepared a Cyber Monday amazing special for everyone. So anyone that shares this either now or on the replay and uses the hashtag I shared or hashtag Cyber Monday, I'm going to send you a link for my Cyber Monday special. So for those that are jumping on, say hi and where you're coming in from. Because these are the three best follow-up questions to ask a prospect. And what I can share with you guys is that I think this is one of the most frustrating aspects for anyone, for anyone in their business. Because you book all these calls and then all of a sudden last minute you get that cancellation or you get that no-show and then, you know, they get back to you and they're like, sorry, this, that, or the other. So I want to give you guys the three basic questions that you can ask. Now, um, the first one, so if someone messages you or texts you maybe a few minutes before your call and says, uh, you know, hey, Scott, um, today's just not going to work too busy, the initial Thing that people most often say is, oh, no worries, um, just let me know when's better for you. Now, statements are open-ended, which means that person does not have to respond back to you, and they most likely won't. Questions always lead to answers. So if someone was going to write me that, Here's what I would say. When would be a better time this week to do our call? When would be a better time this week to do our call? So again, questions lead to answers. And that's the big thing that people don't realize is that when you ask a question that's very specific, when this week when this week is good for you. So again, um, I'm going to encourage you guys, um, I'm gonna send everyone a PDF on these questions, um, but please share this on either your private timeline or in a network marketing group that you're in or a business group that you're in, and I will send you a link for these three questions plus my Cyber Monday special. Because again, if your teams also get better at asking these questions, they're going to have more follow-up questions. So question number two, uh, if someone says something along the lines of, you know, today is, is just not going to work, um, you know, later in the week is going to be much better for me. Again, some people respond and say, not a problem. Uh, let me know. Uh, you know, when later this week is good. Have a great day. Now, again, that's a statement. Statements do not lead to answers. Questions lead to answers. So guys, if this is making sense, I know there's some people on here, type Y or yes in the chat box if this is all making sense because I want to know that you guys are with me. And again, if you guys share this, Hit the share button either on your private timeline or in a group. Use the hashtag I shared and I'm going to send you two things, a PDF on this content and a link to my Cyber Monday special. So why or yes in the chat box if this makes sense. So when someone says that, again, statements don't 
lead to answers. So if someone was to say that to me, I would write back, not a problem. When later this week would be better for you? Not a problem. When later this week would be better for you? Now, what does this do? The great thing is, is this again is a very, very specific questions. You're acknowledging their message, not a problem. When later this week would be better for you? Now you're asking them specifically when later this week, which is what they said to you, is good for them. So again, the more specific that you are, the more likely you're going to have these calls. Most people, you know, there's a lot of people that say the fortune is not in the follow-up. I completely believe that the fortune is in the follow-up because questions will always lead to answers. Perfect example, uh, there was a woman that I was supposed to have a call with today. Where she lives, she got a huge snowstorm. So she messaged me before uh, and she said, listen, I need to cancel our call. Um, Major snowstorm here. Um, Can we reschedule? I said, absolutely. Uh, how is, is tomorrow? And she said, great, let me check my schedule. She said, tomorrow's good. I said, awesome. How is the same time tomorrow as today? She goes, book it. And now we have our call set up. So questions will always lead to answers. Now, um, if this, again, all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, if you share this content, use the hashtag I shared or hashtag Cyber Monday I will send you a free PDF on this information plus a special link for my Cyber Monday special. Now, the third question. Again, someone might say, hey, Scott, um, you know, today is just not going to work. It's too busy catching up from the holiday. They're going to give you some sort of uh, verbal vomit. And, you know, again, most people respond with not a problem. Um, Or they might say, you know, hey, Scott, why don't you follow up with me later this week, right? They might put it on you. I don't chase people. Here's what I would say. Later this week sounds great. What day and time do you prefer? Later this week sounds great. What day and time do you prefer? Again, this is being very, very specific. Again, Questions will always lead to answers. Now, I'm going to show you these again because I want you guys to really see all of this. So again, these are the the best follow-up questions to ask a prospect that cancels a call. Number one, when would be a better time this week to do our call? Number two, not a problem. When later this week would be better for you? And number three, later this week sounds great. What day and time do you prefer? So again, for those jumping on late uh, or are on live on the replay, use hashtag replay. Um, If you share this on a private page or a business group, use hashtag I shared or hashtag Cyber Monday. I will send you a free PDF on this information plus uh, a link to my Cyber Monday special. And again, I have three more trainings prepared for you guys this week. And uh, again, questions will always lead to answers. So guys, enjoy the rest of your Monday. Happy post-Thanksgiving for those that did celebrate. And I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.